How is the Delta variant affecting unvaccinated children under the age of 12? When the pandemic really began to hit hard in, in the spring of 2020, one of the few positive pieces of news was that younger kids, for some reason, just didn't seem to get it very often. And, and when they did get it, they nearly always had mild cases of the disease. Um, but the Delta variant might be altering that equation. Um, in Britain, a country where like in most of Europe at the moment, um, Delta has become the dominant variant. A recent big preprint study found that compared to people over 50, it was now two and a half times more prevalent in those under 50, a group that included kids down to the age of five. Uh, in the US, where Delta now also dominates the COVID landscape, numbers of infected children have been rising steadily. Um, healthcare authorities there last week reported four times more kids are currently testing positive for the disease uh, than were back in July. The experts are still trying to figure out exactly what's, what's causing the spike in cases in kids, uh, but, but many believe it might just come down to the fact that Delta is simply a lot more transmissible overall, especially among unvaccinated teenagers and adults. Um, in other words, the more cases you have in those populations, the more often younger children will also be exposed. And, and the more frequent the exposure, the more likely young kids are to, to get it too. But at least despite higher rates of infection, um, there's still no really convincing evidence that the majority of under 12s are getting a lot sicker on average than they do with other variants. And among those who have tested positive for the virus, it's also still true that a very low percentage um, actually end up in the hospital. Uh, so cross your fingers that it stays that way.